Hey guys and girls. Girls play Valorant, trust me. I've heard about it. It's been a while since my last Valorant video, so I thought I would make something to highlight the current meta. And no, I'm not talking about some Mark Zuckerberg shell corporation. I'm talking about the best and worst agents, maps, and weapons in the game right now. Before I get started, I wanted to say that even though I'm more known as being a streamer than a YouTuber, I am going to be making more YouTube content going forward. So if you like this video, make sure to subscribe as I will be continuing my noob friendly guide series, which helps new and lower elo players to figure out agents and maps and things like that. But I'll also be doing game playthroughs and much more. Okay. Shut up, Zoe. Nobody cares. We just want to see the video. All right, fine. Jet. Still kind of OP and you'll pretty much always have a jet in your team, though they will go either 25 kills and 5 deaths, or 5 kills and 25 deaths. It's kind of the jet law. Viper. Solid choice on maps like Fracture and Breeze, otherwise treat her like that weird uncle we all have that's really into Joe Rogan and conspiracy theories and just keep a safe distance. Breach. Still jacked, thanks to all the time he has to work out due to never being picked. Unless you're on Fracture. Reyna. Still the sexiest agent, don't at me, and also seemingly the number one agent picked by Smurfs for all time. Reyna also abides by the jet law, which means she'll either get 25 kills or 5, and if she's not top frag, she will disconnect halfway through the game. I don't even care, I'm on my alt. <sighs> Astra. Still calls people Yo, I go. Which I find hilarious. Other than that, she's a really hard agent to sort of master, but once you do, she's probably the best controller in the game. Brimstone. The noob-friendly Astra, but with no funny voice lines. He's still a great agent to play, so you should probably learn him. I'll give you some time. Alright, that should be enough time to know how to play Brimstone perfectly. Doesn't take longer than that. Neon. Another Smurf favourite, probably only really good on one or two or one map ascent. Also has blue hair, it's kind of cool. Sky. Giga Chad Et. I mean seriously, have you seen her arms? Otherwise, great agent, very well rounded, and can be played like a duelist if you want. Also, poor camp. I can say that, I'm Australian. Chamber. Chamber. It's broken! <laughs> yep, still broken and pretty much good on every single map. Nerfs incoming. KO. Still a good initiator and quite well rounded, really annoying to play against and counters Chamber really well. Omen. With somewhat recent buffs, Omen is back on the menu, baby. Wait, he's sold out? A decent option and a good attacking omen is terrifying to play against, otherwise there's probably better options if you're just going to play smokes. Sage. Take this with a bag of salt because I might be a sage main, but give the girl a buff. She's a great choice, but her ulti is one too many orbs in my opinion. Otherwise she's balanced and a good battle sage is about as chad as it gets. Phoenix. Also with recent buffs, Phoenix is back in teams, I guess. Maybe. He's great on bind. Sova. Needs a buff, but has extremely useful util and just great hair. Cypher. The Moroccan Maestro is back after being left in the Saharan Desert for like a year for some reason. On Ascent, he is simply mwah, as well as bind and maybe fracture. The downside of playing Cypher is that people will avoid you like it's 2020 and your visitor from Wuhan. Hey, here's my dog. Didn't think my videos were that boring. Fade. Still heavily picked, very balanced agent on most maps and big goth vibes. Killjoy. Usurped by Cypher, even though I think she's got better util and a better ulti by far. She's also the most fashionable agent, if that's important to you. Yoru. Annoying little. Yo, I go. Raise. Best abs in the game, hands down. Still picked quite often, especially on bind, and if you can learn her satchels, you should pretty much expect a call from Sentinels or TSM, one of those big organizations. Harbor. <laughs> and now to the maps. Ascent. Great map, would play again, doesn't need any fixes. Icebox. 
up there with the most enjoyable maps in the game, in my opinion. Really good with a battle sage, though it is maybe a little bit attacking sided. Bind. Remains a great map with multiple entry points to both sites, but if I get shotgunned in hookah one more time... Fracture. With the somewhat recent changes, I think Fracture is a really good map. It brings a few unique challenges that other maps don't have, and it has zip lines, which is cool. Breeze. Bullness. Map. No! Pearl. Decent enough map though, if you came across it on Tinder you'd probably strike up a conversation just to kill the boredom until you matched with the one you really wanted. Bind. Haven. Another well balanced map that doesn't really need a lot of changes. Also wall banging a short with an Odin is hilarious. Split. Bring it back. And last but not least, we have the weapons. Now I'm going to go through these at a burst rate that the Frenzy would be proud of. Classic. It's a classic. Shorty, two pump chomp, miss your shots and pray to Jesus. Frenzy, good. Ghost, very good. Sheriff, goat. Stinger, busted. Spectre, good. Bucky, bad. Judge, good. If you're a rat. Bulldog, good. Guardian, very good. Phantom, goat. Vandal, the goat. Marshall, good. Op, very good. Ares, remember the Ares meta? That was wild. Odin goes brrrr. All right, guys, that is it. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, feel free to drop a thumbs up, subscribe and vibe, and I will see you next time.